comes from a lot of different places. For some people, it comes from within. And for others, it comes from maybe meeting someone else. Yeah, and for one nine-year-old Wisconsin boy, it comes from really both. Fox yeah. 6's Brandon Cruz explains how that inspiration has become a driving force in the boy's life and has turned into a national challenge. Okay, ready? It's a typical summer evening in Wisconsin. Good. Good. The sights and sounds of baseball filling the air there we go. from the ping of the bat to the coaches shouting instructions and encouragement. Make sure you lean towards the pitcher. There you go. For nine-year-old Dylan Baylor and his teammates, this game means so much. Yeah! But it doesn't mean everything. It was back in May when we first met Dylan at a Brewers game. He was there with his family to meet another baseball fan, 24-year-old Jacob Landis. I'm meeting so many people on this trip. It's been pretty fun. It was the first time I've ever seen him. I thought it was really cool. Jacob talked to them, and they, they had a great time together. To Dylan's mom, Amy, the connection made between Dylan and Jacob was immediate and strong. It was awesome. See, Jacob and Dylan both love the game of baseball. The best game. It's like perfect balance between luck and strategy. I love how you can like let down everything that happens, and it makes sense, and you can look at it. But they share something much more personal. Each of them has a cochlear implant. Things are better for me um, at school. I can hear much more things. Um, Playing with my friends is much easier. Cochlear implants are devices that help people's ability to hear. After wearing bilateral hearing aids since he was three and a half years old, Dylan received his implant last October. You ready, Dylan? Head out there. It greatly improved how he was able to hear, similar to Jacob's experience in 1999 when he received his implant. Jacob's a young man, so you can kind of see where he's at, what he's accomplished, and see your own child being able to accomplish the same things that Jacob does and I think it's great it was a great inspiration we want to get up to a million dollars what's so inspiring for Dylan is Jacob's passion to help others like to ride his bike and go to ballparks and try to raise money for cochlear implants that bike ride is from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean and back 10,500 miles in all among the stops are all 30 major league ballparks it makes people feel like they're part of the ride, too. Jacob's Ride, as it's known, is an effort to raise $1 million for cochlear implant candidates who can't afford the costs. That's what got Dylan involved. Once I heard about Jacob's Ride, um, I would take a can and go around and go around my neighborhood and go to door to door at different other neighborhoods. My dad drove me around. Um, my mom put it on Facebook. Um, <laughs> People out of state and my aunts and uncles donated. By the time the two met, Dylan had raised $650.23 for Jacob's ride. Now he has raised... Over $1,200. Yet that's not enough for Dylan. He's always been a giver. If he has $2, he's going to give $1 to somebody else and buy them something. He's always been a giver. He's always wanted to share. Now he is sharing by starting a challenge of his own called Dylan's Challenge to raise even more money. Dylan's challenge is uh, about Dylan inspiring Jacob's Ride and Jacob's Ride realizing other kids can do this too. So um, they started a national campaign uh, and we're contacting camps and schools and children all over the U.S. to uh, get out there with a bucket. If I can do it, other kids can do it too. He realizes he's fortunate to have a cochlear implant and he knows how it's changed his life. So, you know, he wants to have others have that same benefit. Surprisingly, this isn't the first time he has tried to help people get cochlear implants. Four years ago, before he had his implant, Dylan was fighting for implants to be covered by health insurance. He was five years old and he spoke to the legislatures and he told them what it meant for him to hear. He stood with then Governor Doyle, who signed into law that insurance in Wisconsin cover cochlear implants for children under 18. Hey Dylan, go get your gear, okay? On this day, it's a cochlear implant that's giving Dylan the ability to hear his coach. Swing away. There you go. And even though a loss ends his baseball season, Dylan's still winning by giving others an opportunity that has benefited him both on the field and in life. He can help them hear better like I can. You know, kids know more than we give them credit for, I think. I really think he knows more than, than just, you know, I'm out putting money in a bucket. I think he really knows what he's doing, and I, I make sure along the way, the info I get, I share it with him, and, and he's there along the whole way to know what he's doing. In Richfield, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. Dylan's challenge will last until September 1st. Participants will get the chance to win a trip 
for two to Miami to meet Dylan and Jacob on September 24th when Jacob's ride uh, comes to an end. The maker of Dylan's implant, by the way, Medel, has also helped out, donating $1,000 to Dylan's challenge. They're also supporting it through social media. Jacob is currently in Colorado. He'll be at the Rockies game Friday before heading to Texas. For more information on Dylan's challenge, just head to our website, fox6now.com. When you're there, click on links. Yeah, start